The member from Toronto, Danforth. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, yesterday the Minister of Health, and I'm addressing this to the Premier, yesterday the Minister of Health boasted that he hadn't heard from a single hospital complaining about massive hydro bills. Clearly, the Premier and her minister aren't listening. On February 2nd, 2017, the Ontario Medical Association said, and I quote, hospitals like South Bruce Gray Health Centre are forced to use their 1% funding increase to deal with skyrocketing hydro rates instead of patient care, thanks to the Ontario government. The Premier and her party ignored Ontarians' concerns about their soaring hydro bills until political pressure forced them to acknowledge the problem. Clearly, they haven't learned their lesson since they're now ignoring hospital concerns about the same issue. When will the Premier admit that there is a problem in hospitals, that she and her Minister of Health know about it, and when will she do something thank to you. fix it? Good question. Yeah. Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Minister of Health, Long-Term Care. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and unlike the third party, when they uh, had formed government 20-odd uh, years ago, uh, we didn't take their approach where they closed 24 per cent of acute hospital beds. We didn't take their approach where they closed— the member from Timmins, James Bay, is warned. Finish, please. We didn't close, as they did, 13 per cent of the mental health beds in the province. We didn't decrease hospital funding, as they did in their last budget, Mr. Speaker. We have consistently invested in our hospitals and in the entire health care system in this province. Last year, by almost half a billion dollars to increase the uh, operating costs for the ho hospitals, as the member well knows from the conversation that I Sir? had with his leader in this legislature yesterday. We know that hospitals are facing challenge. We know that energy is a component. It's roughly 1% of Thank operating you. costs. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Again, back to the Premier. Maybe she'll answer the question. In their pre-budget submission delivered directly to the government, the Ontario Hospital Association also made the case that skyrocketing hospital hydro bills are a huge concern in Ontario. Page four of their submission reads, and I quote, energy costs are putting a tremendous strain on hospitals. Yep. Hospitals are by no means immune from the same rising hydro costs that affect all Ontarians. Do the Premier or her minister not read documents given to her by official, nonpartisan, and highly expert bodies like the OHA? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, you know, and I acknowledge that energy costs are a concern for hospitals. It represents roughly 1% of their operating budget. We have consistently increased the budgets, uh, uh, the operating budgets of hospitals as well as targeted funding to, we have, despite what the member opposite is saying, we have consistently increased the operating uh, budgets and targeted funding for hospitals. But I want to point out you know, I want to give one good example from this week where Mackenzie Health actually received an award for converting all of their lighting to LED lighting. They are the first 100% LED lighting uh, that has, and they've been financed to, to do that, Mr. Speaker. Remember from Kitchener result, Waterloo is estimated, but Through that process, they are going to be saving $210,000 each and every year. So I think there are excellent examples where hospitals are finding, finding innovative and appropriate ways to work Sir. together and partner partnership with us to find ways to address that aspect Thank of you. the budget, Mr. Speaker. That's Final supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. While I can tell the Premier doesn't like these questions, she's not answering them. It's not just the professional associations that have been raising a red flag about hydro deals. Hydro the member from Beaches East the York CEO is warned. of the Windsor Regional Hospital alerted the Standing Committee on finance and economic affairs that hydro costs at his hospitals were set to increase by 700,000 in just one year. Wow. He said in January 2016, last year, for our hydro costs at Windsor Regional Hospital, between our two campuses, we spent $3.5 million. This year, to the end of March, we're projected to spend $4.2 million a $700,000 increase. Wow. If the Premier and her minister just ignore the experts and say that no one is worried, Question. How, can, how can she expect Ontarians to trust that her phantom hydro plan is a genuine attempt to provide relief to Ontarians and not just a support-grabbing issue? 
So, so Mr. Speaker, we uh, provided Windsor Regional Hospital with an increase in their operating budget of $9.9 million last year, significantly, astronomically more than the numbers that have been quoted over a period of time by the, the member opposite. It's a 3.2 per cent increase in their operating budget. Mr. Speaker, we acknowledge that our hospitals are facing a number of pressures, That's and electricity, I have to reiterate, is roughly 1 per cent of the total operating budget. I think there are hospitals around the province that can look, for example, to Mackenzie Health, that received from Electra, elect, uh, their distribution network, received a check for $125,000 to assist them in that conversion to 100 per cent LED lighting. It's a great innovation but it's an innovation that's going to send them, save yes, them nearly a quarter of a million dollars a year Every on their electricity year. costs. The, the combination of investments that we make and innovations out there, I think, will help us address this Thank particular you. issue, Mr. Speaker.